Next, you'll take a look at some basic edits and setting up parameters. Go ahead and open the LiDAR assembly model. From the file menu in the upper left, if you do open, you'll see the new open window with a preview window, a file panel you can customize, or the traditional browse window. Now that you have the model loaded, you'll take a look at some basic commands. Pull, move, fill, and combine are four of the main geometry editing tools. All four tools are still in the design tab, still have the same keyboard shortcuts you can customize, and all four are accessible through the hex and halo. If you turn on pull and select one of these holes, you'll notice the same useful tool guides on the left, organized into rows. You have the select tools in the first row. Pull has one, but move has two. The second row are the alternative references. Third row are the snapping references. On the right, you'll see some familiar options, and any that don't currently apply, like edge options, are hidden until you select the appropriate geometry. Notice when you select an edge, the edge options show up, and in addition to rounding this edge, you can do a few other edge edits. There are buttons to hide all or part of the options, and you can also drag the HUD to a new position. If you go back to this face, you'll notice an icon to create a parameter or design variation. The icon represents one design point branching out into many by turning a number into a parameter. If you click that, notice the SID or simulation information display pops up with an identical parameter icon. Clicking that will load up the parameter window where you can reactivate it change the name, value, or even prevent or track changes. You can select and delete parameters, import parameters from components with parameters if you had any, or manage physics parameters with discovery simulation in the explore and refine stages. You could set up a parameter per hole for full independent size control, or you could control select a few to group them into one parameter. If you have a lot of similar geometry, you can use power select to quickly find and select all the geometry. It will be blank with nothing selected. If you select this hole, it will search through the model for similar geometry, which can simply be other holes of that size, which is good for setting up a parameter, or holes equal to or less than, which can be useful for filling in a lot of small holes. You can also change these seed values by clicking them. Depending on the seed face and model, you may get a variety of selections to choose from, like coaxial faces, faces of the same area, same color, or even protrusions and depressions. You can also search just the body with the seed face or all the bodies in the model and create a parameter as before. The parameter you see when you pull a hole is the ruler, which you can use in other areas. The ideal use for ruler is on independently sized geometry like holes and rounds, but it can also be set up between faces, like these flat parallel faces here. Now to select this hidden face, you can always rotate the model. And if you have a 3D mouse for your opposite hand, those work well too. Or you can hover your mouse over where the hidden face is and scroll your mouse wheel up a click at a time. That is now the default for zooming, so you can add control to scrolling the wheel for query select. Each click is a different geometric object and can be just about anything you see from faces to edges, vertices, datums, curves, and more. If you scroll too far up, scroll back down, then click to select. If you look at the HUD options on the right, you can see the ruler tool. After clicking ruler, a dimension will follow your mouse until you snap it by clicking on an object. You can snap to the center of a hole, a vertex, a point, a straight parallel edge, a curved edge's center, or this parallel face. Notice some edges and faces at an angle you cannot snap to. Once the face is clicked, the dimension is set to that face and you can change the value directly, which will not create a parameter, or click the parameter icon to leave the size and create a parameter for optimization.